Hi everybody, Ryan Balaji with Golf News Net here. Thanks for checking out our channel once again. It is golf season, although throughout much of the country and around the world, golf is on hold right now, but we're able to get out and play a little bit here and there. And so we want to keep doing reviews for you. And one of the reviews we have in the pipeline was a shoe review. And so we're excited to work with a new brand uh, on a new concept and we wanted to show it off to you, tell you about it today. And the company is called Squares. Squares is based in New Hampshire. They're an American made product and an American design product. And the concept of how the Squares shoe came to be is a pretty fascinating one and informs a lot of how the shoe is designed. So the founder of Squares was on the driving range one day and he was hitting balls on the range wearing square toed dress shoes. A lot of people have square toed dress shoes. A lot of people go to the driving range after work, beating balls after a long day. And he looked down while he was hitting balls and he realized that the squared off toe could help him with alignment, that it could help him with his setup. So he could kind of have himself pointed properly toward the target line using those squared off lines at the front of the shoe. And that set off a storm of development, uh, bringing in longtime footwear experts, people from some of the biggest names in golf footwear, bringing them onto the team, raising money, designing this shoe, the square shoe, which they have now brought to market. And as you might be able to imagine, the square shoe is called squares because it has a squared off toe, not a totally square toe. There is a rounding here, so it's not just absolutely square. Uh, there is a little curvature here, but relatively speaking, it can help you with your setup. So if you're the kind of person that kind of keeps your feet about the same uh, opening, you know, about the same uh, angle when you set up, then that's perfect for you. And it, even if you don't, maybe you just do it with the back foot, still gives you a sense of how you are relative in your setup. But what's most important about this shoe and what it opens up is the squared off toe allows the shoe to be wider without looking much wider. So it allowed the designers to give the golfer more room for their foot, basically making a wider shoe without it looking necessarily that much wider. And what that allows the golfer to do is to take their foot and put it all the way in to the shoe and let it rest full out comfortably so that it touches more of the ground perfectly flat as it's naturally want to do. Instead of some shoes where maybe you feel a little bit of compression up here and down here toward the midfoot and that doesn't allow your foot to stay in its natural state, it gets a little scrunched up and it makes it a little bit more difficult for your feet to move freely. By allowing your feet to move fully within the shoe makes you a little bit more comfortable and also allows that foot to move naturally. And then by having your foot naturally here, you can also have, have a, a heel stabilizer here in the back so that you're trying to keep your foot in place in the heel portion of the shoe. So that way, even though your front foot is free, ready to move, your heel isn't free and all over the place. So your, your foot's not flailing about in the shoe. The next feature to kind of keep you stable and keep while maintaining that sense of freedom is these laces. These laces have silicone nubs on them, which is pretty cool. The idea behind the silicone nubs is to be able to tie your shoe and make sure it doesn't come untied during the round because these silicone nubs create a little bit of friction and make it more difficult for the shoe laces to come untied. So you can set the kind of pressure that you want on uh, with the tongue on the top of your foot and then it pretty much stays in place throughout the course of the round. Uh, this is uh, synthetic leather, full grain, uh, on the top. So this is the upper. It comes in four colorways. There's a gray, there's white, a couple of blacks, black with accent colors, two different ones. And then on the entire length of the, the midsole, you've got EVA foam. So that's comfortable, that's standard issue. What I really like about these shoes is the comfort level that you break into them. So the first round was comfortable, second round more comfortable, third round, fourth round, fifth round, sixth round. Now they feel like like an old friend, honestly, like shoes I've worn, like the sneakers I wear around my home. Uh, they're just incredibly comfortable. They feel great when you walk. They're a good walking shoe. They're not too heavy, but they provide really good traction. And that traction comes from the design down here. 
So obviously you can tell this is a spiked shoe. There are one, two, three, four, five, six spikes. However, the, the traction system as this was designed really focuses on these four areas, the, the red ones, the red spikes, because their studies at squares in developing the shoe showed that these are the most high pressure points in the golf swing for any lie for any situation. So you want to have absolute traction in these spots and then you want to make sure you have traction in these spots because that does come up over the course of a round either walking or hitting shots or what have you. And then in addition to the spikes they created a circular system of nubs that are specifically designed to offer additional traction based around those pressure points. So you can kind of see circles here and circles here and circles here. So there's about six circular regions and they kind of overlap with each other. You'll notice that there's really no lugs here. And that's because throughout much of the golf swing, you're not really placing that much pressure on the midfoot. Uh, you're really pushing off with your, your toe and then you're kind of creating a foundation with your heel. So this is designed as a shoe for the modern golf swing, for someone who can maybe use that ground force during the swing or someone who kind of digs in a lot to generate a lot of power. So with all of the lugs and all of the different pressure points and the spikes, this really does offer a tremendous amount of traction for me. Uh, I swing pretty hard, as you may have known if you've seen my club reviews over the years. Now I can swing a driver in the 110, 115 range if we're going at it pretty hard. I need to make sure I'm not going to slip. I need to make sure that on any surface, any type of grass, sand, dirt, depends on whether you're playing Bermuda or uh, Bent or Rye or Poa, whatever it is, I need to be able to have the confidence that I can go after the ball, swing it hard, and feel like I'm going to stay connected to the ground in a way that helps me maximize my power. I've been able to do that with ease. I just won my annual buddy trip down in Florida, in Orlando, Florida, on Bermuda grass, which I don't typically like to play with. The issues kept me connected and feeling good the entire way. Um, and it gave me the kind of confidence to go after some shots I needed to go after on those golf courses where there are a lot of houses lining fairways, where it's kind of tight, there's water and sand and gators and all kinds of stuff all over the place. Stuff I don't usually have to deal with here at home. And you need confidence in every piece of your equipment, whether that's footwear, whether that's apparel, whether that's the 14 clubs in your bag, whatever it is, but you need that confidence and the square shoes gave me that. Again, it's a super comfortable shoe. I've really come to like it after the first couple of rounds. It feels incredibly comfortable. Uh, it stays in really easily. Uh, it keeps me connected to the ground. It's not that heavy. Uh, the shoe retails for $250. Uh, right now they are offering a introductory promotion. Uh, we have a promo code that you can use if you purchase the square shoes. You're going to get 20% off. So basically get these shoes for $200. So that's a good deal. And in addition, they also offer squared off toe socks too. So they're kind of keeping with the theme here. They want your feet to be able to have a sense of freedom, not only in the shoe, but no matter what socks you're wearing. They're also really comfortable. They're really well padded. They offer uh, compression in the right places, but it works well with this concept of a shoe. And ultimately, uh, this is, I, I think, something really interesting and different. And we're always looking for that in the golf world. We've seen it a number of times over the last 15, 20 years in, in golf shoe wear. Some of those ideas get absorbed. Some of those ideas blow up companies and allow them to become tremendously successful on their own. And sometimes a little bit of in between. But I really like this Squares concept. I like the team that they've built. Brought in past PGA of America president Jim Remy. Again, guys from throughout the golf world, either with sales experience, with development experience. These are, these are name players. Uh, in our, our sport, and they've done some tremendous things. But I really like this idea. I think you should check it out for yourself. Go find a pair and try them on if you can find them at a, at a golf shop, or just order them online. They'll ship them to you. you can, if For whatever reason, you need to make a change out, uh, they'll exchange it with you. You can change self, size and color. They'll take care of you. They'll do a great job with you. Uh, so we're looking forward to working with these throughout the course of the season, and we'll continue reviewing shoes for you here at Golf News Net. I'm Ryan Balji saying thanks for watching and we will see you next time.